I'm Evan Beard, CEO of Standard Bots. We make vertically integrated AI native robots here in Glen Cove, New York. We're here today at our open house. We have almost 400 customers coming to check out our products and our solutions. There's 16,000 square feet here where we assemble our robots, we do research and development on our next products, and we build and ship robots to customers across the world. We have customers from Fortune 500s down to small mom and pops, and we've been almost doubling revenue every single quarter for the last six quarters. We had to get a new facility to keep up with our growth. We're gonna keep expanding from here, and we are really excited about the investment we've made here in the United States, in New York, about bringing manufacturing back, which we need to do because it's important for our country, it's important for our customers, and we are really passionate about solving our customers' problems so that they can automate and bring whatever they're producing back here to the United States. Today we're showing nine different demo stations. We have a welding station, machine tending solution, a palletizing solution. We have vision that is built into our robot that's so easy to set up and use. And we're showing end-to-end -end control from AI models where you can just show a robot a task and it learns from that demonstration to do the job on its own. We have the president of A3 here to talk about trends in robotics and where the future is going. We have General Catalyst here, one of the top venture capital funds in the country, to talk about the investments they're making, trends in AI, and where they think things are going. We're also joined by some of our customers to talk about their journey, talking about their experience with standard bots, the things that they make, and how they're able to bring manufacturing back and actually hire more workers through the process of automating. We're also showing some of our new form factors here today and some other really exciting stuff. Most surprising thing I think was being able to connect with a lot of folks that didn't realize that there was even a robotic manufacturer here on Long Island, which was great to see. A lot of great support from the local businesses, industry partners, I think have shown up really well today and that's that's a good thing for all of us. We get a lot of value for every dollar that we spend on the, on the robot, so we bought one so far. We intend on having several throughout our shop to supplement the labor that we already have. So I can take those folks and deploy them elsewhere to do some really good stuff for us. What we've seen over the years is the challenges of training the systems, making them function, but now having self-learning. Well, we're reshoring America, having American products, American built, and having product availability right here in the States. That seems to be the game winner. I think probably the most impressive thing is that Standardbots is doing almost all of their manufacturing bringing in stuff like PCBs in-house. Most of the other robotics companies that I've worked with previously are bringing a lot of stuff in overseas. This makes their pricing much better and helps overall with integration, which we really enjoy. For us, Standard Bots being in New York is a really big thing. We're a smaller company. ROI for us is very important, and this is very expensive equipment for us. So we don't want to have a robot sitting for a few days if something breaks. So something being local is very important to us. In the food and beverage industry, we might need to make changes to the robots to meet specifications as Cobots moves more into that space. So the ability to change it and work with people is great. When I was researching, there was two things I wanted. One was an American company, if I could find it. And the reason for that is, as somebody who's been in the tech industry for quite a bit in engineering, you lose a lot of intellectual property by going overseas. And so we wanted somebody that was here in America could do that. The other thing is we wanted somebody we could actually work with. And working with overseas, it's a communications issue, there's all other kinds of issues, there's legal issues and so on. And by bringing that back into America, the communications is there. Communications is obviously key. If you can't speak the language or understand the references, it's really difficult to produce a product. The future for standard bots is in improving the efficiency of manufacturing and automation and tasks even beyond automation. 99% of robotic arms used today in manufacturing are not made in the United States. And most arms that are used, they're too hard to use, they're too expensive, they're too difficult to set up. We're gonna continue to make our products simpler and easier to use, to make robots capable of doing even more tasks, programming through demonstration using AI, to continue to lower the cost of our robots so that customers can lower the cost of the items that they make and bring back manufacturing to the United States.